good morning. It is, what, 9.15. I am sitting at my new desk and work area, which you guys saw. I just posted a video about that. I'm actually sitting down to work on editing that video with my coffee. Girls are still in the kitchen working on breakfast, and we are gonna be getting a lot done today, hopefully. So the plan is, after I finish this video, to start swapping the bedrooms. We are swapping our master bedroom with the girls room and I would do it completely by myself but I need help to move the mattresses. They're pretty heavy and I might be able to do it but I don't want to strain anything so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the closets and switch the clothes and stuff like that because that's easy enough for me to do and even our dressers I might be able to move because they're on like those felt sliders so I'm gonna take you guys along as we switch them and then hopefully set up the girls beds Lara is still sleeping in a crib so we are not quite sure what we're gonna do if we're gonna try to you know get her to sleep in her big girl bed sooner than later we don't really need the crib until November December really um, but I would like to have the nursery totally set up so it's ready to go when we need it. So we'll see, we're just gonna start with um, moving what we can. So I'm gonna work on this video for a little bit and then I'll take you along as we switch things around. Okay, so I'm just pulling things out of the playroom, craft room, all this paint stuff and like craft supply things. Like we made dinosaur eggs. I have like ground coffee and salt and sand. Like all this doesn't need to be on our main level. I'm gonna put this all down in the basement. And then I have this little like planner organizer and I'm going to, or I turned it into like something I can keep in my purse to keep the girls occupied if we're like waiting somewhere. So I have some little crayons here, a little notepad. I pulled out some sheets of like activity paper from this like doodle book we got at Chick-fil-A. Um, I just pulled a few sheets out and folded them up just to give them something to do. And then we have pencils in the back. So I'm gonna put that in my purse. All right, here's those preschool cabinets that I've been cleaning out. This side is empty, actually, I think, yeah, both sides are empty, just there's doll in there. Um, and then up here, this was always like my cabinets where I kept things that I use mostly, although some of Evie's things started to uh, creep up. So these were like books we did for pre-K at home, more like science books and nature things. These are like future reader chapter books. So it's like, I don't quite know what to do with these. I don't want to put them on their bookshelves because they can't read them yet. This whole thing is like, again, kind of pre-K at home slash like when I was thinking about homeschooling, I grabbed some books from our library that they're like giving away for free. It's like a kindergarten phonics. Okay, so I'm going through this bin. These are like, like I said, kind of um, homeschooling things. So I think maybe I'll just hold on to these in a bin in the basement. And also like a lot of these things I could use for um, Lara as she gets older. I have so many workbooks, you guys. Oh my word, I just went a little crazy. Like <laughs> stuff that we wouldn't even be learning for a while. Um, so anything that Evie could use right now, I'm going to keep out. Like I can put those in their room or something. Um, but anything that is really like a future you know, item, like learning about the United States. It's, they're not gonna be learning that for a little while. But these things are just so cute. I don't wanna get rid of them. So I think I'll hold on to those again in the basement. That's gonna go here. Um, I just, I go crazy with these workbooks. I just love them. And part of me like hates to even write in them because they're so cute. This one's like vintage. Why am I so weird with things like that? I don't even know. Oh, and this is Evie's book that she wrote about herself, but she didn't finish it. It's just so cute to see their handwriting and how they draw and how it evolves. 
Did I date this? I don't even know. Turkey, and she drew a turkey, <laughs> so cute. You know what, the more I'm looking at this, this is a kindergarten teacher's manual, so she, we're not even gonna do kindergarten. So I think I'm just gonna donate that. And this is a Matthew C. primer um, that comes with the DVD and everything. I'm gonna donate that. And somebody sent me this, a subscriber, it was very sweet. We did go through a little bit of it, um, but this was like a preschool um, kind of lesson plan, so that was very nice. I think I'm gonna, well, it's like, should I hold on to that for Lara? I don't even know. All right, here's another book I bought and never used because everyone recommended it. But honestly, I don't know, whatever I did, Evie knows how to read. So she just learned her letters and the sounds and kind of just put it together. I didn't go through like step by step. And she can read pretty, pretty great, um, you know, for a kindergarten level. So I think I'm just gonna donate this. This is like a binder I had put together of pre-K stuff. Um, handwritingpractice.net. You can type in your kid's name and it will make it for you on these lines with the dots so they can practice. We made the mistake of teaching Evie, or I don't know if I did it on purpose or she just kind of naturally wanted to write her name in all caps. So now we're kind of backtracking now that she's gonna be in school working on writing, you know, the right way with like the big E and the lowercase letters. So I'm gonna hold on to these two. I think I have two of these. So she can um, keep practicing now. And then I'm just gonna toss these. Okay, hold on. It's time to hold not even know what it is. Hey, Okay, I have purged and relocated as much as I could. I think all of this is going to actually just go in the girls' room, um, which I'll get to later. We may put a bookshelf in there. I'll explain that later. I don't wanna put these books in the basement because, I mean, she's gonna be at this level pretty soon and I can even read these to her. So I don't wanna put them away, you know, too far away. And then like this, we have been working on this summer. It's these little like science books. So there's only a couple more in there. We might just finish that and then I can toss the whole thing. Um, these are all workbooks that are at her level that she can, you know, work through or we can do them together. So I'm gonna keep those out. Again, those art books and these are like her mats for painting and Play-Doh and stuff like that. I might possibly use one of these cabinets between their beds in their bedroom so that's kind of something I'm thinking about as well and then maybe leaving one of them either in the closet because this is going to be the nursery um, or somewhere else out in the room I don't know I'm still thinking it through okay I think it's officially time I'm going to switch the closets so this is Evie's side. I don't quite know which side I want to be mine and which one's gonna be Dan's. You wanna read that book? Okay. You read it. Oh, you want me to read it? <laughs> okay. So it has to get worse before it can get better, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I pulled out a few dresses I'm going to donate. This one was really cute. I bought it at a thrift store. I loved the scalloping, but it's pretty much 100% polyester and it's like, it's so stiff and uncomfortable. I never wore it and it's, I just, I can't wear polyester. It makes me sweat like crazy, which is the same issue with this dress. So those are going to be donated. This is like a really, really old North Face. I'm just going to get rid of it. I think I tried to give it away to like some sisters and nobody wanted it, so it can go. Alright, so all the girls' clothes are hanging. They fit just fine. There's plenty of space. But something I do want to do is take all these navy hangers and move them into the nursery. And Evie has the white as well, and she has plenty. Um, there's even more. We have tons of extras. So I think I'm going to steal the navy, give those to the baby brother, and um, just do the white in here. 
So now it's time to do the tops of the closets. This is mostly my um, like out of season things. So because I do a capsule wardrobe, I swap for fall and winter and spring and summer. So all that is um, fall and winter, which is why I bought these bins from Ikea to hopefully corral that. And then I have the smaller one. Our room is an absolute disaster. Um, and then we have uh, two more of each of those sizes so that's where I'll con consolidate all of that it's just this is an absolute <laughs> disaster right now so Evie is all settled into the top up there these closets are pretty much exactly the same size it's just rather than just having one closet it's the same size, you know, each of them just split in two, you know, if that makes sense. So like everything seems to be fitting just fine, just the way it was in the old closet. And she still has plenty of room up there. I don't know if you can really see. It's like empty at the top. So room to grow. Alright, so the closets are officially switched. Everything, for the most part, fit in just fine. So Dan's going to be on the left, and you can see I moved the dresser also, swapped those. And then mine is on the right. I have a little spot for my work bag and my new IKEA bins at the top. It, everything's going to need a little, you know, final touching. I wasn't sure if I was going to repaint the walls in here, but seeing this furniture in here now, I'm definitely going to. Something about the lighter tones of the girls' dresser made me really like the green undertone of this gray paint, but now it's like way too green. And just with the lighting that comes in this room, I think I'm definitely going to repaint. And I think I need to paint the back of the doors too. I painted the front white, but I never painted the inside, and I definitely think it needs a coat of white. It kind of drives me nuts seeing that like honey oak color. But it's all put together enough that Lara can still nap in here today. And then here is the girls' room, the dresser in their new room. I think it looks really cute there. And then their closets are pretty much put together. This is all school supplies that, you know, won't be there forever. And then I picked up these bins at Michael's. I thought they were so cute and they would look really cute with her, you know, with their gingham uh, bedspreads. And I loved the little brass uh, name plates that were on it. So I grabbed two of those. I thought maybe they would go here, but we'll see. And while I was working, the girls made an absolute disaster <laughs> out here. Oh my word, yeah, we got a lot of cleaning up to do after lunch. But it is 12.40, so I'm gonna make some lunch real quick so that I can get Lara down for her nap, and then we can really focus on cleaning all that up. I need to finish doing some filming and editing for that video for Monday, because it's all about the living room, and I need to do some final filming in there, so that all has to be cleaned up. It would be cleaned up anyways before quiet time. That's always what we do. We kind of like reset the house at quiet time. So I'm like out of breath. <laughs> that was a lot of work, but I was glad to get all that done. So we are just gonna have simple mac and cheese for lunch. Not gonna even worry about it. This has to cook for eight minutes. So in that time, I'm going to actually go ahead and tackle this myself because the girls are playing so nicely now in the playroom. So I'm just gonna take care of this. I don't mind. The house is in such a chaotic state right now that to expect them to clean this probably is asking a lot, so I'm just gonna do it myself. All right, so that took me only about eight, 10 minutes. So we're doing mac and cheese and some green bell peppers for lunch today. Just even. And mommy's gonna have the same thing because just need to eat something right now. 